The final big SQL statement or command that uh, we're going to learn is the delete statement. So let's look at this. This is pretty much the simplest one there is. So this allows us to basically delete a record from a table. So again, we have a couple of keywords. We have delete, and then we have from, that's the keyword. Then we name the table. In this case, this is people. So we're deleting from people. And then we use a where clause. This is again, where is like if, uh, you know, PHP if. So delete from people where ID, the ID field is equal to four. We don't want to delete everything in the table. So we go, okay, go. And PHP mind min basically wants us to confirm this because when you delete something, it's pretty serious because you remove it from your table. So we're just going to go, okay and delete a rows one. So we know that we've actually deleted a record. Let's check it out. And sure enough, uh, record number four is gone. And uh, there you go. So let me show you something that's pretty dangerous here. Now here, I'm saying delete from people. Watch what happens. Do you really want to delete from people? We go, yeah, sure, go ahead. Delete a rows five. So we go SQL. And can you guess what happened? My SQL returned an empty result set, i.e. zero rows. When we said delete from people and we did not specify which particular records we wanted to delete with the where, um, we deleted all the records in the table. And now when we're doing our select, we're saying, well, uh, my SQL says, well, there's actually no records Empty result set means it did not re get any results from our query, right? So uh, remember what empty, remember result set. Result set's going to be used quite a bit in uh, PHP's operations with MySQL. So that's basically what happened. With the delete statement, any update statement, it's important that you include a where, the where clause, because that will identify particular records we want to affect. As we did with update, we, without where, we updated all the name fields. And with the delete statement, without the where, we deleted all our data in our table. And since this is only practice, it doesn't make much of a difference to us here. But if you were doing this uh, on a live data database, you would probably have some problems.